everyone and then mubarak to all welcome to the nursing and healthcare conference thanks for having me today first i will start with introducing myself my name is amal ibrahim from jordan i have a master degree in health management and policies i'm working as a medical referral coordinator for the university hospital in palestine today i will present my topic about the perception of the effects of critical nursing long working hours of vigilance and patient safety at Ramallah district. Topics to be covered like introduction, research problem, justification and objectives, definition of terms, setting, research subject, design, key results, conclusion, and recommendations. In healthcare, Safety culture has been associated with the quality, safety performance, safety practices, and the clinical outcomes, including workplace accidents, falls, and medication errors. Work schedules have a profound effect on nurses' sleep, vigilance, and performance, as well as on their safety and that of their patients. Nurses working shifts greater than 12 hours are significantly increased risk of vigilance in the job, suffering an occupational injury or making a medical error. Nurses' vigilance at bedside is essential to their ability to ensure patients' safety. However, increasing number of patients compromise nurses' ability to provide safe care. Long working hours distributes the body circadian rhythms, which helps the body to renew and repair itself. Shift workers go to sleep when their the yarnial rhythm enhances signal, signals of wakefulness, which could cause chronic insomnia. Nurses working night shifts or long working duties are at risk for sleep deprivation, which threatens patients and nurses safety. Research and problem. Healthcare industry is encountering nursing shortage and aging population. Thus, nurses are exposed to excessive work levels. Nurses who work extended shift hours and work more than scheduled hours during week, they don't receive enough break or have sufficient in their shift recovery. Adverse drug events in critical care has been associated with sustainable increase in patients' morbidity and mortality. The rate of preventable adverse drug events in critical care is nearly twice or double the error rate in non-critical care setting. Actually, the main research problem my study is lack of data on the impact of nurses working long hours on their level of vigilance. Study justification. The 12 hour shift favored by many nurses and frequent overtime are associated with difficulties staying awake and duty, reduced sleep time, and nearly triple the risk of making an error. My study represents baseline about effects of long working hours on Palestinian nurses' vigilance and patient safety. The study also helps healthcare organizations to better understand the level of significant change in nurses' vigilance and patient safety by making policies or decisions which change the level of fatigue and sleeplessness among the critical care nurses. The study is the first of its kind to talk about in this issue in Palestine because it's conducted at the same time of development of patient safety and the quality of health services in Palestine which help nursing leaders to use 
use the study results to inform nurses about the perceived challenges faced by the patients in the critical care unit. Research objectives. The three main research objectives of my study is to describe the work pattern of critical care nurses in the targeted hospital, to assess the effects of long working hours on the nurses' vigilance and patient safety, to compare the level of vigilance among the two targeted hospitals. What do we mean of long working hours? Long working hours, it's the hours that take place outside the traditional scheduled time from 9 to 5 p.m., which means the nurses, when they work more than 12 or 14 or 16 hours per day, actually more than 14 hours per day, per week, even it's night shift, early or rotating shift. Nurses' vigilance is an interactive between persons, process of knowledgeable watchfulnesses exists in healthcare in response to threats. It's estimating the frequency of episodes of drowsiness and episodes of sleep during the working hours, actually 24 hours. So at least nurses' vigilance means reduce error and involve patients in their own care. Patient safety is the prevention and mitigation of harm caused by errors of omission or commission. It's discrete and clearly recognizable process or manners of providing care. Methodology. The study design was a descriptive quantitative research using structured questionnaires was used the general population is the registered critical care nurses who work in the critical care units and met the inclusion criteria. The total number of the critical care nurses is 233. Inclusion criteria was four main points. The first one is critical care nurses who work fixed shifts or either rotating shifts or at least for one year in the study unit, having a diploma of nursing or higher, no specifically special chronic disease such as mental disorder, not having sick leave for more than one month in the six month period before the study. We excluded nurses manager or educator, history of sleep disorder, drug that may interface with vigilance, pregnant or breastfeeding women, important visual disturbance. The main assumption of my study that the participant nurses not having more than one job. More than one job. The study was conducted in two major hospitals in Ramallah City. The first one is Palestine Medical Complex as a governmental hospital and an Al-Istishari Arab Hospital in regard of private sector. The study was conducted in these two main hospitals because various critical care units are available in both hospitals. Different organizational culture and managerial system provided will be a chance to compare and construct the both hospitals are available and cooperative. Palestine Medical Home Complex was established in 2009. The occupancy rate is 95%. Total number of employees is 750. Total number of nurses is 300. The bed, total number of beds is also 300. The nurses patient ratio is 1 to 3. Alistishari Arab Hospital was established in 2016. The occupancy rate is 60%. Total number of employees is 250. Total number of nurses is 120. Pati uh, nurses patient ratio is 1 to 2. 
Regarding the questionnaire, my questionnaire represents the response of nurses for all items of the questionnaire, which consists the area of the study included four main domains. The first one is level of vigilance during long working hours. The second domain is the patient's safety level during long duties. The third point is patient safety or frequency of event reporting. And the final domain is duties affected by vigilance and patient safety. For each domain, we measured the mean, p-value, and the percent. For the, for the first one, assessment of vigilance, we used liquid relevance scales. We rated from zero to five, using always, most of the time, sometimes, rarely, and never. The main, the main of all domains was 2.5, and the percentage was 550%. Nurses' perceptions about patient safety, the mean for all domains was 3.30 and the percentage was 66%. The main items we ask the nurses to measure the perception of their uh, perceptions about the patient safety. The first one, I made a medication administration error during the extended shift. I always wear a face mask if I have flu to protect patient safety, to prevent patient burns if they need transition to bathroom, x-ray, etc. I always ask for help during the extended shift. Important patient information often lost during shift change. Shift change during the transition on period often jeopardize patient safety in this hospital, the main or the highest mean in these or domains was I usually change patients' position every two hours to prevent bed sore or bedridden patients. The third domain was nurses' frequency of reporting events. The mean for all domains was 3.77 and the percentage was 75%. The final domain was nurses' terms of persistence on patients and patient safety due to the extended working hours. This item contains the main duties that the nurses work at long, in the long working hours and need vigilance and patient safety, such as medication administration, monitor patients, vital signs, prepare patients for surgery, communication with medical team about patient's condition, educating patients and disease prevention, and so on. The mean for the all domains was 1.38. And it was yes, no, checklist question. Key results. What's the percentage of the long working hours in the targeted hospital? To answer this question, we measured the prevalence of nurses as risk in the targeted hospital. It was in Palestine Medical Complex 55.22, at Al Istishari Arab Hospital, it was 30%. So, as we know, the nurses at Palestine Medical Complex is more at risk than about nurses in al Shari at a hospital. Is there a significant relationship between long working hours and patient safety? To answer this question, first and correlation coefficient was performed. Actually, no statistically significant difference was found. Is there a significant relationship between long working hours and nursing vigilance. A t-test was used to measure the relationship between long working hours and nursing vigilance. And as we see here in the results, it shows a statistically significant relationship between the two pillars. Are there differences 
on the levels of nurses' vigilance at Palestine Medical Complex and at Estishari Arab Hospitals. This diagram shows the mean of the nurses' vigilance in the two targeted hospitals. As we see here, that the nurses at Palestine Medical Complex are more vigilant than nurses at Al Istishari Arab Hospital. As a conclusion, my study was a small step toward better understanding of the relationship between long working hours, vigilance, and patient safety. These findings are not conclusive, suggestions for further research as a qualitative study to evaluate nurses' vigilance during the long working hours or duties. This study was significant because it provides hospitals administrators and nursing directors with a foundation for creating partnership with nurses in an effort to deliver better healthcare outcome, included patient safety culture. Recommendation for nurses. These are the three main recommendations for nurses. The first one is the importance of taking care of patients, information on shift exchange and working accordingly. The written handoff from former shift nurse must be clearly so the other nurse can apply it easily. Encourage nurses to report when mistakes are done and not blame or penalize them when unintentional mistakes occur. Recommendations for nursing director at the targeted hospital. The main point is to reduce the weekly working hours to be 35 hours per week. Increases number of nurses during the long shifts or long duties. Prepare a specific policy regarding length of work of time, increasing nurses' salary. Recommendations for future research. Qualitative study must be done to evaluate effects of long working hours among nurses' vigilance and patient safety. Repetitive measurements and follow up studies. This study was limited in Ramallah district, so it's need to conduct in other studies or other districts to make comparisons. Recommendations for policymakers are requirements to establish safe work hours based on the individual settings, patients, and provider needs, a program in a place for instituting fatigue and poor vigilance countermeasures, for to rise the education of nurses and all other healthcare workers to ensure their understanding of three main points. The first one is the responsibility to be adequately Visited and fit, the effects of boutique and sleep deprivation, strategies to mitigate boutique and maintain urgency. To know more about my study, you can find it in UC Journal website by clicking on www.ucjournals.com.